This is third part of our conversational AI and chatbot series. So in the first part, we look at how to build a chatbot for a hotel booking use case using Amazon Lex, which is one of the popular you know, service that we can use to build chatbots. And in the second part, we look at how to connect our Amazon Lex, which is a chatbot with the AWS Lambda where our business logic or backend reside so that we can add some you know custom logic to the chatbot validation and even we can take the chatbot output and store it into a database so that kind of connection what we saw in the second part so if i go to here yeah this is our hotel booking chatbot that we built where you know we can ask for book hotel and then it will ask you know what city you will be staying and all these details and also this chatbot is connected with the backend that we have called you know lambda function here we have a hotel booking lambda where we have a custom code written in python which interact with our chatbot and can have some validation on top of it and even we can write some code to store our details into the database so what we will do into this third part is to take it further now we have amazon lex we have aws lambda but instead of using amazon lex as a chatbot where you could see here we could integrate this amazon chatbot with the other services like whatsapp so that you can do the same thing the hotel booking thing from the whatsapp and not only this particular console so do that particular thing if your user using some whatsapp then we can use an intermediate service called Twilio. Twilio is a Twilio is a messaging API where you know we can programmatically send and receive messages. So the steps will be like this. So first thing we need a Twilio account and a number. And the second thing what we will do, we will create some bot version. So we already have our bot. We'll create some version and alias to it, and I will uh, show you why we need them. And once we have these two things then we can integrate our amazon likes with the twilio integration once that integration is successful we will integrate our whatsapp and twilio and once we have these both things in place then we can you know interact with the amazon likes chatbot via our whatsapp messages that we will see so if you go to the twilio if you go to the you know twilio.com and if you click on your account so creating a twilio account is very easy you just go to the twilio.com and you know you put your email id password and just sign up there once you sign up there you will get a 15 dollar as a trial period amount that you can use for the testing purpose and the second thing you will also get some account id for your twilio account and this auth token now these two things are important when you want to integrate your Twilio with other services like Amazon Lex, and we will see we, we're going to use this particular thing. And once you have your account, you can go to the phone number sections. And you know, if you click on manage, you will see your active numbers. Now you can see I have one phone number active here. So this is the number from which we can send messages to other people and once you create the account you won't be having number you need to click on my number and then you can buy number from specific country so for india it is not supported but if you click on united states then we can use these numbers to send message and we can send those messages to indian numbers also but since we don't need voice, we don't need MMS, we just only need an SMS. And if you see, these are the numbers we have that we can purchase. If I click on buy now, you know, I can buy this particular number for $1, which will be get, you know, deducted from whatever the trial amount I got. And so if I click on buy, okay so i think for trial accounts we can only have a one number and so anyway this is the step if it was not the trial account this is the way we could add or a buy number so i have already done this thing while testing and that is why you could see i have one number here 
same way you could also take that one number that you will get here once you have this number you can use that number to you know send messages to other people and before you send messages to other people you need to verify your number why because you are still in the trial error and uh, whatever number you're going to send message from this number that number needs to be verified so that you don't spam other people so let's go to the verified caller here and we can add a new caller and i can select india here okay and i can put my own number here so that this is the number i can use for the testing purpose and i want to verify it using sms so i will get some otp code or something if i click on verify number let me provide that number here okay so i got some verification number on my mobile let me put there okay let's submit it now i can see my number is appearing here to which i can send messages using this number for a testing purpose now let's go back to uh, this is the thing right so we have not video account and we also have a number that we can you know uh, you know use we can use that number to send message and we can also receive message from one verified number which is my number now let's go to our bot and create some version so this is our bot and if you look at the bot versions you will be having one you know default draft version so let me create a new version out of it so version is nothing but some snapshot just like your software as a version the bot can also have a some version to it and it will have a language since when we build the chatbot we selected for which language we are building so that is automatically coming here and let's click on create okay now you can see the version 2 is coming here you know why version 2 is come because for a testing purpose when i was making the video i also created one more version so that is why that version 1 got now incremented to 2 if i create again version it will be numbered as a 3 so now i have version now next thing i want is to create the alias so if you look at the deployment section i can click on aliases and there will be again a default alias that we get when we create the bot which is again a draft version but we have to create a new let's create the new version here let's give something to it like maybe we can call it as a hotel bot alias okay and then this alias will get associate with some version whatever the bot versions we have let's i click on bot version 2 and then i can create now you can see my alias appearing here hotel bot alias if i click here i can see its detail i can see its name there will be some id associated with but the important thing is the associated version currently it is associated with version 2 i can again change it if i click on edit i can associate with the different version also now why it is important because let's say now we have version 2 and we keep working now we have version 3 now right but then what happen these other services like let's say Twilio or any other third party services, they will interact with this bot using this alias. And now currently this alias is pointing to version 2. Once you have version 3 ready, you can just update here so that the same alias will point to version 3. So it's really become easy to roll out the changes by just changing the associated version. Okay, now we have bot and version both the thing. Next thing we want, we want to integrate Amazon Lakes with the Twilio. To do that, let's go to our bot again. And if you look at the left side section, you have a channel integration. Let's click on there and we can add a channel that we want to integrate. So there are a couple of things. You have Facebook Messenger, you have Slack and Twilio. We will use the Twilio. So let's click on Twilio. And there will be some you know default role and all things will be associated. We can give some name to it. Let's give it something. You know hotel video i will give something like that name description is optional and then we need to associate this particular channel with our alias that we have created so we have a hotel bot alias that we just created 
and we have a language English with it. You can see now additional configuration here. This is where we're going to need a Twilio details. So when we create a Twilio account, if I go back again to click on my account here, right? So we have got these two things when we created the account and these two things are required. So let's copy the account SID. I just copied it, go to the bot, put it here. Let's copy the token also. Let's copy and put that token here. Now I have both the things. Let's click on a create. You could see new integration appear here, which is Twilio SMS. Let's click on it. And we got some details here, but the important thing is this callback URL. So when we put Twilio details here, Amazon Lakes generated one callback URL. This URL, we have to put it in Twilio so that whenever Twilio will receive message here, let's say, whenever Twilio is going to receive message from WhatsApp, Twilio will come to know where to forward those messages. And that is nothing but that callback URL that what we got here. So that we need to put into the Twilio. So let's go back to Twilio now. So we have one active number that we can use for sending and receiving messages. We also verified one number, which is my mobile number that I can use to exchange messages with the Twilio for a testing purpose. Now to use it with the WhatsApp, we have to go into the messaging tab here. You can see down here messaging tab. Let's expand it. Inside the messaging, you have a try it out. Let's try it out some services. And you can see you have a send WhatsApp message. So let's click on a send WhatsApp message. So just like we verified our number, here also you can see it is asking to verify our WhatsApp account before we start conversation with. So let's let me go into my WhatsApp and I need to send this message join against whatever this message to this particular WhatsApp number so that it uh, understand that that uh, you know I am verifying that but let's say I am typing that same thing it's just confirmation from my side that uh, you know I am interested to connect with this particular WhatsApp number. Okay, so I just sent and it could, you could see it has just received that message, right? I'm clicking on the next here. Now I can send a two-way messaging. So, you know, it is asking me, now it, it give me some different message. So anyway, I'm going to attach my screen uh, recording later into the video when I upload it so that you can see. Now it's simply saying me that when I join with this WhatsApp number, they again send me some message and they want me to reply to that message so that they they establish that two-way communication so i'm just sending hi message to this number again okay now it says that we have both the way messaging from this number to my number and my number to this number so let's you know click on the next configure your sandbox thing Okay, so now we are in the sandbox where we can experiment with the WhatsApp. If you see this thing, when message come in here, it asks where to forward that message. This is what the callback URL that we have to put. So let's go back to our Lex console again, where we got some callback URL for the Twilio. Let's click on copy, go to the messaging Twilio and paste that number or paste that particular link here. I pasted that link here. And now let's save it. Now I have saved it. Let me send this book hotel message to the my Twilio account and let's see whether I can get the same response what bot is giving. Okay, so now 
I got this reply on my WhatsApp message. Let me type the which city I want to stay. Okay, now I got the same reply here. So let me go through this whole process. So now I'm interacting with the Amazon Lex chatbot using my WhatsApp message. Though you are not able to see now, I am going to put this screen recording when I am going to upload this particular video so that you can see side by side what is happening. So this is the way you can integrate multiple services like our WhatsApp service. There is a Twilio service, you have Amazon Lakes and then we have a Lambda. So when we started, we first created the Amazon Lakes chatbot only that we can integrate, uh, you know, interact from here. But then we added back into it so that we can have our custom logic like saving into database, validating whatever the user input that we are getting from the Lakes. Today, we extended these two services to include another two services. So we have a Twilio, which is a you know, programmable SMS. And then Twilio can receive messages from the WhatsApp. So user send message to, let's say Twilio. So let's say user says book hotel. Now Twilio passes that message to the Amazon Lex. Amazon Lex identify the intent and ask which city do you want to stay in? and user reply. And this is what the conversation happens, right? One common error I observed, if you delete your existing alias and created the new alias, make sure your newly created alias points to a proper lambda function that you are using and you can find your lambda function inside the languages if you click on your language you can select the lambda function that you are using and it will automatically select any version if it has if you found this video useful, please do subscribe. I will be creating similar videos related to the natural language processing and the conversational AI stuff. Thank you.